Good morning and welcome to our morning devotional. Today I'd like to continue talking about the words that are for praise or worship in the Hebrew language. In the Old Testament, the word praise is used many times, but it has many different meanings. Today we're going to look at the word tauda. One of the places that this was used was used by David. David used this when he talked to um, us from Psalms 56, 1 to 12. I'm going to read you a portion of that. Be merciful to me, my God, for my enemies are in hot pursuit. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you, in God whose word I praise. All day long, they twist my words. They conspire, they lurk, they watch my steps, hoping to take my life, record my misery. Then my enemies will turn back when I call for help. By this, I will know that God is for me. Now we hear David talking here about being in misery, about feeling terrible, about being scared and fearing for his very life. And often we don't think of this as a time to praise. Often this is a time where we kind of shut down and um, <laughs> desperately cry out in prayer for God to help us. However, here is where David praises. Here is where David tauda. What does tauda mean? Tauda means that it is an, to shout out, to shout out to God, to address him in a loud voice. Say, God, help me. But it is also an attitude of gratitude for what God has promised us that has not yet happened, but yet we believe and we trust that God will fulfill. I love that. Right now I'm going through some really bad back pains and I am trusting in God. I'm trusting that there is a way forward in healing for me because I am trusting in God's promises. I am trusting that what he says is true and that he will deliver me from this pain that I'm feeling. When we can be in the circumstance that um, isn't that great. Paul talks about um, being learning to be comfortable no matter what your circumstance. And this is somewhat what God is talking about here, where even though terrible things are going on around us, remember David is writing this. He is writing this most likely while he is trapped by the Philistines. Actually, he is trapped by the Philistines in Gath. And he is actually thanking God and praising God in the midst of that even though he feels afraid, even though he feels that they are conspiring against him, that danger lurks on every corner, he is still tauda. He is still praising God, even though the answer has not yet come, the healing has not yet come, the um, answer of the questions that he is asking God have not come, the deliverance has not yet come, and yet he is trusting God. He is trusting God in his praise and saying, God, even though my prayers have not been answered yet, I trust that you will fulfill what I have asked you. You will fulfill your promises. You will answer my prayers. I pray that you have that relationship with God. I pray that when you have things that are not going okay in your life, that you trust that God cares about you. He loves you. He sees you. He hears your prayers and he will answer you. Hang on to the promises in the word of God. There are so many promises here that you can claim and you can say, this is for my life. And you can say, thank you, God, that you are this for me. And you can say to God, you are a good God. I know you have got this and you've got me in the palm of your hand. Let's say a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we love you so much. You are a God who sees us. You are a God who understands. And you see everything that we go through every day. Lord Jesus, we know and you know that there are prayers that we have on our hearts that are not yet answered. Whether they be for our children, whether they be for ourselves, whether they be for financial problems, no matter what they're for, Lord Jesus, you know that there are prayers on our hearts that are not yet answered. And you, Lord, we trust you. We call out to you in a loud voice, Lord, and we say, Jesus, help me. And we know and we trust that you hear us and that you know us. Lord Jesus, come quickly. We love you so much. Thank you so much for your healing. Thank you so much for your love and that you see us and care about us. Be with each member of our congregation today. In Jesus' name, amen. 
I pray you have a wonderful day today, that God blesses you, and that even in the midst of whatever you're going through, that you were able to tauda. Have a wonderful day.